Let's take a look at another example of continuity and differentiability using f of x here. f of x equals the absolute value of x. Notice that f of 0, so 0 is what's going in, gives you the absolute value of 0, which is 0 coming out. In other words, we have the point 0 in, 0 out. No problem thus far. Let's do a graph here of this function and study something closely. So when we do the absolute value of x, as I'm sure you know anyway, notice something important. When I zoom in around the origin, which is where the kink is, it doesn't matter how closely you zoom in. The slope on the left side is always negative 1. The slope on the right side is always positive 1. Look, let me zoom in to a very fine level of detail, like, like this level of detail. Now look carefully here, okay? You see, you're going to go down 0.1 and then over 0.1. So that slope is negative 1. Here it's 0.1 to the right, 0.1 up. That means it's a slope of 1. Let me emphasize, again, it doesn't matter how closely you zoom in. I've zoomed in again. You're going to go 0.04 down, 0.04 over, so the ratio is negative 1. 0.4 to the right, 0.4 up, so the ratio is positive 1. It doesn't matter how closely you zoom in around the origin. Okay, let's do this maybe one more time just to emphasize this, you see? So you're going to go 0.02 down, 0.02 over, the ratio is negative 1. 0.02 over, 0.02 up. The ratio is positive 1. Now, this is important because what it's telling you is that at x equals 0, there's a sudden break in the value of the slope. Here, let me draw this arrow, right? As I go down this side, the slopes are always equal to negative 1. So if you imagine like a little slope triangle like this, and you measure the slope anywhere here, it doesn't matter how close you get to the origin, it's always negative 1. When you go up this side, right here, get it to show up, there we go. And then you mark a little slope triangle anywhere here, you will see that the value of the slope is always positive 1. It doesn't matter where you are or how close you are to the origin. So that means when you graph, take a look at what happens. When you graph f prime, that is, something has to happen. Right? It has to show that somehow. So the way to do that is then as follows. Well, let me zoom in. So you got to zoom in again. Let's do that now. Let's see. This will do. And... So as long as you're to the left of 0 in the graph on the left side, the slope is always negative 1 as long as you're to the left of 0. So you indicate that by coming down a horizontal line. But at 0 itself, when x has the value 0, that slope is not defined. So that means here you put like a little hole, okay? And then what happens is you resume right on the other side of 0, okay? So then you draw this line right here, this way, okay? What happens at x equals 0 on the right side? It's still undefined right here. Okay, so it still gets a hole this way. So what is this telling us in terms of a graph? What it's telling us is like things like this, right? f prime, for example, of negative 1. That's no problem. That's just negative 1. Right? Negative 1 goes in, negative 1 comes out as the value of f prime. f prime of, say, 0.5, no problem. Look at the graph. 0.5 goes in, 1 comes out. Not an issue. The big issue occurs when you try to do f prime of 0, that is undefined, so not 0, that's not correct. Don't say it's 0, say it's d and e, or if you like, undefined, as shown here. So the lack of definition of the first derivative shows up in the graph of the first derivative by having a break at x equals 0, and then a hole above x equals 0, and a hole also below x equals 0. What you cannot have is this, right? So imagine you do this, and, and then you do something like this. You fill that hole. You see how I just filled the hole there with gray? That doesn't work because when something is filled, it's like saying that now you've decided f of 0 is going to be equal to positive 1. But that's not accurate, okay? But there's a cusp there. There's not a value you can actually assign to it because in the graph on the left, there's a sudden change in direction. So this is not accurate, right? This shouldn't be filled in. In other words, it has to be like a little, uh, like this a hole only, and then this is not accurate. Leave a like if it's been helpful.